A bicyclist initially at rest begins pedaling and gaining speed steadily for 5.2 seconds during which she covers 40 meters. 44 meters. What was her final speed? All right, so this is our first complete problem video. So to start off these problems, I want to go ahead and list all the things that I might need in order to solve. So once I get my pen back, I'm going to write down initial velocity, average velocity, final velocity, displacement, and time. It's a good habit to always write down that our positive direction is defined to the right for this problem. So um, this problem says that you steadily gain speed for 5.2 seconds. The seconds right there implies that that is going to be the time. during which she covers 44 meters. Since it's meters by itself and not meters per second, that must be the displacement. All right, we said in these problems there have to be three given. Again, a very common one is at the start of the problem. We don't see motion lines. Problem also says at rest. So in this case, the initial velocity is zero. So I'm missing the average and the final velocities. So um, I can't use the average velocity rule yet because I only have one velocity, but I can use the displacement and the time. So I know that the average velocity is equal to the displacement divided by the time interval, or 44 divided by 5.2, and that gives me 8.46 meters per second. as my average velocity. Then I can find the final velocity using the average velocity rule. And we've derived this a few times before, so it's going to be two times the average velocity minus the initial velocity if we had it. But since there's no initial velocity, we can just double the average. And that gives me 16.9 meters per second. Since it asked me for the final speed, that would be the final velocity without a negative sign if we had one. We don't have one anyways. So meters per second right there.